Today is August. Do, do, do. August 21st, and I am several hours away from getting dropped off at Ituro to drive out to Streamwood, Illinois, to meet my friends Maria and Paolo, to go tour some beauty schools and talk about the Beauty with a Purpose event that is being thrown September 17th. So come with. Operation Pickup Turo was a success. I can honestly say this is the most tinted car I think I've ever been. I don't think I've ever been in a car that was just super tinted. I mean, even like the front of the window, it's like I straight up feel like I'm on a stealth mission here. So it's a 2023 Honda Civic, I think. I'm just gonna have to check when I get out. The car's pretty badass, it's just dark. Night. So I got in last night around nine o'clock, nine fifty. Pulled the wine down when I got here, and, and stayed it up talking to Maria and Paulo for about an hour, just about what's going to happen today. So I'm excited to take you with on this journey, and I can't wait to hit some beauty schools, hit a Zoom call, and inspire a bunch of people. It's just moments like this. When I realize to myself, life is good, but I'm thankful. Let's said it a million times. If you're gonna get into the world of motivation and empowerment, the first person that you have to motivate and empower is yourself. Running for me is not only a lifestyle, but it's also like a moving meditation. So what am I doing right now? I'm listening to Boogie Down Productions, My Philosophy, Beastie Boys, songs that I like. And I'm just getting myself into a different mindset, more of a warrior mindset. Because if I'm gonna go out and talk to people and tell them how to develop this mindset, I have to live it. Just under four miles, so 35 minutes. But you don't have to go out every time like it's your last. You don't have to kill yourself. Get personal records all the time. I mean, 99% of this game is mental. It's just showing up, but showing up for yourself. Like for sure, showing up for yourself. So now I feel like I could start the day. So we've made it to Crystal Lake for school number one. My friends and my handlers uh, leading me in. Let's check this out. younger generation has to take over because everybody that you see standing before you right now we're eventually gonna be dead <laughs> it's just yep Elgin and right now we are just kept on passing a farming fleet an automotive service center there's a planet fitness so when the students are done with school they can work out but wait, we're coming up on it. But wait, there's more. Looking for the crappy Christmas gift that you just want to buy for somebody who's got everything? Dollar Tree for all your generic Twookies. Get your teeth fixed from all the Twookies. And there we are right next to the Golden Corral. So <laughs> the thing I love about my life is that not only is it random, but I'm constantly caught off guard. So here we go. Second Academy of the day. Uh, spreading the love. Let me show you something, the difference 
of a negative mindset and a positive mindset. When given an opportunity, I'm sitting here and my name is called. Now there's two things that I can do. I can think to myself, oh shit, let me get this over with. And I can stand up and then I can begin. We communicate as human beings from energy. So I'm automatically going to feel that when somebody is going to enter a room or start walking out, as opposed to this. Might be a little nervous, but you know what? I think I'm gonna nail this. Stand up, start to talk, start my presentation. So if it's okay with the time that I have with everybody here today, I would like to do an exercise with you. Cool? Everybody have their phones glued to their palms? What I want you to do is I want you to take your phone out. Scream it! I am beautiful! I am fearless! I am strong! I am beautiful! I am fearless! I am strong! Shut your phones off. What we just created, what we just created today was an emotion. Everybody in this room has so many more advantages than all of us had at this specific time and point in your career. With that thing that you glued to, you have the power to change the world. So let's start with ourselves. Did it feel weird saying good things about myself and looking at myself in the eyes? And if the answer was yes, then do it again. Thank you so much for your time. Are now on stop number three. And we are on the expressway once again, looking like we have to exit 65, 8.5 miles to go to Roselle Road. So now the, the biggest school that we're going to be doing today. And it seems like we are doing a, a Zoom. So we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. I'm hanging out with some pretty amazing people nonetheless. And this is what my ride to work like. Ah, this is what my ride to work looks like. Damn, rubber baby buggy bumpers right now. So one of the things I definitely struggle with when I travel is like, what do you eat? So we're in Schomburg. There's the beauty school over there. I'm just gonna see what they have inside of this uh, health food store. Yeah, when in doubt, eat it healthy, man. I just, I can't do like gyros and french fries and it just weighs me down and it just makes me feel like ass. So anytime I can opt for healthier foods, I like to explore those options for sure. Always down for Chinese and Indian too, just FYI. Ha. Well, I ended up having a, it's like this like cacao smoothie. It was pretty good. And ended up hanging out and had some chicken chicken shawarma so lunch was good so final school we are in Schaumburg Illinois this is what it looks like this is the room that we are about to talk in here it comes yeah that's what it looks like this is the beauty people are just kind of coming in right now check it out that's what it looks like <laughs> Maria's doing some dancing and yeah, the final stop of our Illinois tour. Went from working out of my house selling heat to all of a sudden everybody in the world knew who I was. I got flown to LA and I competed on a television show for hairdressers called Sheer Genius. I got second place, came back. And then for that seven years, I was on major television internationally for seven years in 44 countries. Me. I shouldn't even be here. I did that. So for 12 years, up until a year before Rona, I traveled the world doing some of the biggest hair shows the world has ever seen. As a colorist for somebody who doesn't even do color. Guess what? You put money in my face, guess what I'm gonna learn how to do? <laughs> yes, can we all say in the count of three, beauty with a purpose? Yes, yes. yes. Right, ready? One, two, three. Beauty, beauty with a purpose! purpose! <laughs> all right. Awesome. <laughs>
you never know what you're getting when you walk into a room though but honesty will always prevail right. and if you give people like your heart they'll listen mm -hmm. you give them a bunch of shit people are smart yep people aren't going to listen if you're trying to sell them something it's just like why should i buy something for you? but right. if you can relate to somebody and you tell them like your personal story mm -hmm. and what it is that you're going and to rehearse yourself well enough that that story makes sense and it's got impact right. you can literally inspire somebody but again the trick is once they're inspired how do you get them to take action right and it's that conversation that you have with yourself. You're like, don't say you're gonna do it in a week. You're gonna do it right now. You're gonna do it right now. I've, I've been doing, I said, because uh, they want to start, they always ask me, how can I get clientele? How can I do this and that? And I always tell them, like, relate to that client. Like, bring something that's gonna bring up a conversation where, like, your client's gonna tell you how about themselves to you. And essentially, that's kind of like what you want. If they're comfortable enough to tell you how they feel about certain things, then they're more than comfortable to come and sit in your chair. So, like, all of that stuff, I kind of, you know, getting them up there ready for yeah. success you know, so. well this has been the highlight of our day as yeah, far as travel real, goes so yeah. just like much love and mad respect man yeah. yeah you guys are yeah appreciate you guys yeah. they're hungry yeah they're hungry to get to the next level and, and, and if you miss an opportunity good meeting you you too could i get a picture with you of course man yeah of course man. yep So this is when I turn into like somebody who looks like a homeless guy. So I don't have a car. We have one car as a family. The other car that I have is basically an RV that I keep in Mesa, Arizona. When COVID hit, it just made more sense to, I don't know, figure out how to do stuff close to home and have a car that lives in an area that one day I want to like die in because it's so pretty. So ever since Churro, I'm able to find these cars that are like a mile from my house and I just, I walk. I mean, I mean hell, I'm an ultra runner. I can run hundred miles. I can walk two. So instead of having a car payment, spending, you know, 50 grand, 40 grand, I don't even know how much cars are anymore, to be honest with you. I just use this app. So for me to do what I needed to do today was 89 bucks to get like a super nice Honda Civic 2023. And then I used $13 gas. So it was 89 plus 13, $102 to motivate a bunch of people for a great cause. That's not bad. And now I don't have a car payment. So I have money, but the reason why I have money, I'm able to hold on to it, is because I don't buy crap I don't need. This is what's by my house. Like I have this nature and this path that I can walk on. So I'm about a mile away and I'm on a path that I run literally daily. So today was a good day, felt great. It was nice to reconnect with Maria and Paulo and spend the night at their lovely home and just do a little tour with them. I have an awesome job and I'm reminded that when it seems like things are easy, it's because I worked my effing ass off at periods of my life. So the takeaway from today and the message that I shared that was kind of universal, never give up, just keep on going and never give up because if you give up then it's never going to happen so till next time